Hi everybody and welcome to my channel again. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is beautiful here in Florida though it's starting to get warm every day. We're still in the 80s so not too bad but it's coming. It's for sure coming. I am working on a Kate Bush repaint today that is a commission and I am using a Tonner Stella doll that the client sent. So I'll have pictures of her at the end of the video so you can see what she looks like. If you've never been to my channel before, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Uh, you can go back and watch some of my older videos or just, you know, come along with me now. And please click subscribe and the little bell if you would like to get notifications when new videos are available. Anyhow, let's get into this repaint. So what I'm doing here is, in case you haven't seen my other videos before, I you can go back and watch a video of it in real time. I do have one up and it's three parts because it's pretty long. This one's more of a time lapse, but I can kind of give you a rundown again. Uh, I use, uh, the first thing I do is I cover the, the head with a baby sock. Now you can find a lot of supplies at the Dollar Tree for artists. It's fantastic place to find stuff that you might need, little supplies, so with this, I use a baby sock from the Dollar Tree or I get it at garage sale. I love garage sales too. And I use pan pastels for all my shading. And what I do is I spray the doll first with Mooster Super Clear, which is toxic. So please do it outside. Take care of your health and that of your family and your pets and things like that. I try to spray outside and I also have a mask that is very important that you wear something to keep all that poison out of your system. Art supplies can be very dangerous, so take care of yourself. And once I get, I'll probably go back and forth. You, you won't know, but I'll stop in between and spray the doll and come back and add more layers and then spray again and add more layers. I also use Prismacolor pencils to sketch things in a little bit. Sometimes I'll do it a lot more than other times. This time I was kind of light on the Prismacolors. Uh, you can also buy erasables in the Prismacolor. That's a nice little kit. It's not very expensive and it'll do the job that you're looking for, which uh, is nice. If you're not looking to, because I, I know you can do an entire doll using just Prismacolor pencils. You can, but I don't. I like paint. I do some. I have done it. But I just, there's something about painting. I've been doing it for 20 years. So I like to do it that way. For my paints, I use mainly golden uh, matte fluid acrylics. I will use the regular fluid acrylics as well. There's two different kinds. They have kind of a different flow and texture. But I like them both. I like the mattes the most. And uh, it doesn't matter if you use five different kinds of paint because when you spray it at the end, it'll all be matte, which is really a nice porcelain finish for a doll. The way that, you know, they should look instead of all that shine. And I will link below uh, the colors I used, the paints I used, because there might be a couple of extra different ones in there. Uh, the brushes I used and the pan pastels I used. And I got the container that I keep my pan pastels, I kind of shave them off and make my own mixture like you would with portrait painting or whatever. And I get that container at the Dollar Tree over in like the home repair section. They have a really great little containers, I guess that you would put, you know, nails and things in, but it's perfect for this because it's shallow and it locks closed nice. So I like that. Closed. Did I say closed? Closed. Anywho, what else? I wanted to tell you about the pictures at the end. I haven't really ever addressed how I take my pictures, but I use a Samsung WB380F camera, which is a nice 16 megapixel digital camera. It's not the best camera. I had a really great Sony, but it has, it's old now and it doesn't quite work as well as it used to. And this is a higher, it's a higher uh, pixel. So I use that for now. I may shop for a new camera in the future, but for now this camera's doing the job for me. And I take all my pictures in a an LED lit box that I got on Amazon. It's about $150. It's a good size box. 
If you paint monster highs, you might not need something quite that big, but I paint um, tonners a lot and tonners are 16 inches or higher. I even paint some dolls that are a little bit bigger. So I like to have, you know, plenty of space and a lot of times I'll put backdrops in there. The ones in the back of this picture would either be a photography backdrop, which is a matte black finish, or, and those are kind of like paper, or I get some from China on eBay, and those are printed on sort of like a thin canvas, and you can iron them if they get wrinkles in them, but I haven't really noticed any wrinkles. I got them in a tube. It takes like two to three weeks to get them, but uh, I have maybe five now, so I'd like to add to that collection. But I used one of those for the pictures of the Kate Bush doll at the end. You'll get to see that. And it's really easy You just take some clips. I bought my clips on Amazon, but I saw at the Dollar Tree that they had clips and I was like, darn it, I could have got them here. Oh well, right? I use Ot Lights to paint with. That for me is really important that I have plenty of lighting. So I have two Ot Lights that really give me good lighting and I have a window too next to me. So plenty of lights and I use reading glasses to paint with because it's like wearing a magnifying glass basically. And I think mine are five. I, I had a pair of sevens once. It just depends on how much magnification, how you know close up you want to see it. I just noticed in my video uh, that you can see my tablet playing a show in the corner. Sorry about that. I tried to cover it with the drop cloth there that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. This this drop cloth is actually from uh, the car section for polishing your car, drying your car. But it's a perfect, it's soft, and I just lay it down. If you're working on anything and you drop it, it won't roll off the table. Uh, it's been a lifesaver. I love those drop cloths. I have so many. Every time I see that they have some because I don't always have them in stock, I buy another one and just kind of keep them. My office, studio, ever, this area is just cram packed full of so many things that I just keep stuffing in here because I have this dream that I'm going to have the whole thing stripped out, cleaned, and then have nice cabinetry all in here. So I'll have all this space to be able to store all my stuff because I do dolls mainly. That's what I do, but I have sculpting stuff. I have painting stuff. I have canvases. I have paper. I have so much stuff in here. It's really, really, really crammed full. So one day I will get that done. Um, we can dream or I can get a standalone studio. I can dream even bigger. So did I cover everything I wanted to talk about? I think so. I I also, oh, I think I forgot I just drew a blank there for a second. That's funny. That happens. Oh yeah, I remember. This doll came with um straight with wavy, thick wavy hair. I think it's it's the Toner Stella sculpt, but the doll's name was Chris, K R Y S, Chris. Yeah, and. Uh, I didn't have to root anything extra. I needed to make bangs. So what I did was I just sort of uh, put the bangs, pulled them out where I wanted them and I braided that and then I tie them down with um, a string and I covered the face so that it didn't get wet. I covered it with some plastic wrap and just tied that down and I just put some boiling water right over where I wanted those bangs to lay down nice and neat and it worked just fine I got a little water on her face um that's always a struggle for me what what comes first the you know do I do the bangs first or later because if I do them first they're going to get messed up when I do the repaint and I may mess up the repaint. I don't know. I, it worked out. It didn't get messed up. Anyway, here are those pictures I was telling you about with that nice backdrop. And um, that's it, guys. I so appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.